In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and add the clamp cam and the shake cam together. Now, if you don't want to have them combined, that's fine. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, I think it's a good exercise and I know I want the class to actually do it. So I've gotta have a video for that. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump into Mono Develop. And I've have, I have both scripts already open. I'm just gonna move them over side by side so I can see them better. And first off, well, we have the positions that we're gonna clamp at. We wanna make sure we keep those. Uh, we're gonna need our target still because we wanna make sure that we're following our player. Now this is actually going to be our original position as well. So we'll have to go ahead and work that in. Uh, we're tracking ourselves just so we can move. We were already doing that over here. Then of course, I always go ahead and get my references in awake and then late update, pretty much the exact same. Really the only difference I think we need in late update is to probably take this here and move it to late update since we're gonna be following the player now. And then we can just have a toggle here. You know, if we're shaking, do this. If we're not shaking, do that. But of course, every frame, we're still gonna to wanna to make sure that our current position, or at least our target position, is being used for the center of the camera. So let's go ahead and start moving stuff over and get everything massaged in. So I'm just gonna copy stuff over to start with. Actually, let's grab all of this. And I'll put a few spaces in here when I paste them in. Uh, we already have that, we have this. So the other thing we need is this. And I'm gonna put my late update after update. Great, we got all the code one script, but we do need to clean it up. And someone had mentioned in the comments that we could have just gone ahead and got a reference and just turned it off while we were shaking. And that works perfectly fine as well. Uh, that de really depends on how long your shake is because if the character is still moving and you have a long shake or a series of shakes going on, you're still gonna need some way to figure out where that, that player is. And with the shake cam the way it is right now, we were not really tracking the player. But again, that's only a few lines of code. And you're never gonna write a script that's perfect for every situation. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this down now because I've already got it copied over and now we can see this one. So I'm gonna switch target over to original position. Mm. Yeah, I will. And I'm just gonna get rid of that. Well, I guess we'll comment it out for now. I know I'm gonna get rid of it, but for now we'll just comment it out. And inside of the inspector, I wanna put a header in here. And I'm just gonna say clamp settings uh, might need a little bit more room let me just go ahead jump back into unity uh, until we get all these errors fixed it's probably not going to work out but when we select it now we'll get uh, like another heading like similar to this but anyway well, let's get the rest of these errors worked out then we'll go ahead and fix that let's actually just jump so right here so the original position is now going to be uh, uh, i probably should name this too instead of being original position we'll just say target, which I know was the name before, but now we can change all the instances in the game with it. And we'll get rid of the position part. And it's, not, it's actually not gonna be T. Target will be ins assigned in the inspector. And here we're gonna want the target position. And we'll come down here. Now we need the target dot Position dot x target dot position dot y. Let's save that off. Anything else? We still have one more I missed. Double click it right here, and I think it has to do with the vector two, right? Correct. So we'll put this over into a vector two. So new vector two. Target dot position. We could also go ahead and do a sphere here as well. Either one's really gonna work, but since I'm working with a 2D game, I'm just gonna have everything be 2D. So we need the X, then of course we need the target dot position dot Y. Save that off. Let's go ahead, we'll jump back into Unity, see if all the errors go away. There we go. And now we also get our clamp settings. I'm gonna copy my clamp settings from up here. So, X was minus, minus 300 to 300, 328. 
I'm also going to disable this. Uh, the target was the player. Let's jump back in. And now I want to be able to add the shake after. And remember the reason why I'm adding it after is because it's following the player and I want it to go off after that, after the player's moved. So I'm going to say, actually, it's really simple. If it's not going to shake, do this. Else, meaning that we are going to shake, do this. Now I want to point out there are more than one way to do this, to, to combine both scripts, at least the functionality of both. And as long as you have the end result you want, then you did it right. All right, and I think really that's all I need to do. There's probably some more cleanup I should do in here. So let's find out. Let's go ahead, we'll jump in, make sure clamp cam is off. I want shake cam on. Start it up, it should go over here. And if I hit shake, I'm gonna start moving and click it. Oh, which of course doesn't work because I can't keep moving while it shakes. But the camera is still following. We'll have to go ahead and start putting some events in to actually shake the camera themselves. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to get a quick one out where we combine them. I know some people weren't interested in it, so I want to keep it short. And well, tomorrow we'll move on to something else. We still have to come back and do animation events. So we should get that done this week as well. Anyway, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears.